in verse 17 and following it says, But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hither, hitherto, and I work. Verse 18, Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal with God. And you go down a few verses, and it, said in, it says in verse 23, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father with which has sent him. And so you have all these references, not only here, but all over the scripture, about Jesus being the Son of God. And if you're going to honor God the Father at all, you better honor the Son in the same manner you honor God the Father. And Larry, I like that scripture you gave us. There's a lot of weight there because, uh, you know, when your enemies will confirm your own testimony, exactly, uh, you really have a point. Well, that's what made it so well, powerful. Well, the Jews of Christ's day confirmed that he said he was the Son of God and made himself equal with God. That's right. Now, they thought that was a strike against him, but actually their testimony, because they were the religious scholars you could not get a higher testimony than those people to the public because they were the ultimate. Now, those people said Jesus claimed that he was the Son of God equal with God. Now, what does that say then for all future generations? We have some people say, oh, Jesus never claimed he's the Son of God. Well, the Jews said he did, and That's they right. had more knowledge of him than you did because they were standing there listening to him. And they charged him with that. That's right. And uh, so therefore these fellows that come along, I heard one one time, he said, oh, well, Jesus never claimed uh, he was the son of God and all this. Well, how come the Jews understood it that way right. if he didn't? In fact, they understood it so well. You just made me think of this passage here in the Gospel of uh, Mark, chapter 14, starting in verse 61 and following. Once again, reading from a King James Version. But it says here, but he held his peace, that's talking about Jesus, and answered nothing. Again, the high priest, who should know about these things you're talking about in Israel there, asked him, asking Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And ye shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, what need we of any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned, condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him and to say unto him, Prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. So Jesus is condemned to death for claiming to be the son of the blessed. And then what did they say about this? Blasphemy. Because he's claiming to be equal with God himself. Right. And they knew this to be the case, and that's why he was condemned to death. So it goes right back to the very point of why was Jesus crucified? Because he claimed to be the Son of God. And so many people don't seem to realize this. They, they want to come up with all these other ideas. But here you have Jesus himself in a kangaroo court of law. You know, that's what it was. It was a court, but they, they were determined to get Jesus. But he told them straight up when they asked him, are you the son of the blessed? Uh -huh. He said, I am. And you will see the son of man coming in the clouds. And he's referencing right back to the book of Daniel, which is talking about the Messiah. Once again, giving another reference that he is that Christ. He is the Messiah. He's the one that's promised to come. He's the one those 456 Old Testament prophecies are talking about. I like, and they knew it. Go ahead. Yeah, I like this scripture here in John. He says, uh, the Jews said, we have a law. And by our law, he ought to die because he made himself the son of God. Amen. And uh, that's, that's all what you were talking about that's it. there. And that's what people and, don't uh, seem to realize. that Why was he put to death? And there you have it. It's right there all over the place in the text. Right. And, and they tried to kill him like seven, six or seven different times before then. They tried to throw him off a cliff one time. 
but it, Jesus' time hadn't come, and so he walked through the crowd. <laughs> he just kind of went through, he got away. Uh, they were trying to kill him in different, at different times and places, but his time had not yet come, as the scripture says. Uh -huh. But at, at the betrayal after the Last Supper, uh, you find that then, you know, what Jesus told Judas, what thou doest, do quickly. And that was his time to, and, to uh, go to the cross. And in, in Mark 15, uh, uh, 39, the centurion says, Truly, this man was the Son, son of, of God. God. One of his very crucifiers right. testified he was the Son of God. The Jews right. testified that he was the Son of God. But you know this man here, this Gentile Roman centurion, Mm -hmm. This is the first man to testify of the fact that Jesus Christ was the Son of God following the crucifixion. And John refers to him back over here. He that saw it bear record, and his record is true, and he knoweth that he saith truth, that you might believe. So uh, this man that saw this on that occasion, he testified this is the Son, Son of God. God. The truly, this man was the Son of That's God. That's right. And yet this doctrine is denied by all these different religions. Well, of course, Satan, Satan, that's the doctrine Satan hates most. Now, are you indicating uh, by that that now you have these actual religions with these prophets, so-called prophets of these different religions, stating point blank that Jesus is not the Son of God, Jesus is not God, and all these types of things. Are you saying by that, when you say Satan, are you saying that these other religions are Satan-inspired when they make these denials of Jesus being the Son of God. Well, to say something is Satan-inspired is not uh, so significant. After all, uh, going back to the creation, the whole fall of man and what became of us after that was inspired of Satan. And, you know, Jesus said, you're of your father, the devil. Well, that could be said of all of us because we all go back to that time in the Garden of Eden when Satan deceived Adam and threw the whole race into depravity. But it does say something when we say that uh, these false doctrines are the, the way that Satan hates the Son of God is to spawn these false doctrines. Men come up in their minds and they say, well, oh yeah, he was the Son of God, but in this sense. And by the time they're through with it, of course, they've destroyed Mm -hmm. the true teaching of the Bible on the Son of God. Uh, you were talking a while ago about this thing of uh, someone teaching that Jesus was the uh, uh, illegitimate son of uh, a fallen woman. Well, I remember years ago there was a man that even spoke at one of the Baptist seminaries that put out the story that he'd read somewhere where that Jesus was the illegitimate son of a German soldier. And he said, who could deny that that was the truth? Well, I can, uh, for one, I can deny that, uh, that that's the truth. It's a falsehood. It's a lie of the devil. And so the devil puts these ideas in people's minds to redefine what son of God means. And if they can't get away with an outright denial of it, then they will redefine it. And it's in those areas of redefining that we have so much devilish and satanic work because uh, as the angel of light, the devil's chief work and chief ministry is deception mm -hmm. if you like our youtube channel please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another youtube video for our c answers tv channel please share our videos with your friends and relatives may god bless you only one life will soon be passed only what is done for Christ will last. To see the full length video, please select by tapping on the first screen to the right. To see the entire playlist where this particular video is found, select by tapping on a touch screen on a cell phone or by clicking on a regular computer. The second screen to the right.